All right, guys. So today we're going to un unbag, I guess I should say, and do a first impression of the region's custom camo, as you can tell by the title. They do camo a little bit differently, and it's pretty unique. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. So first and foremost, they did send me this to test and review on the channel. I will say this. The way they do camo, if you go to their website, which will be down in the description below, you can see that the, the options show as blank on their website. So they have like hoodies, all, everything you could need as a hunter to hunt. They have, they have jackets for different seasons. I got the base layer and lightweight pants for early season, but they have different options, but they're blank. So what you do is I was talking to the owner back and forth and we we're trying to figure out the best way to do this, but you take a picture of where you hunt. And what they do is they, they take that picture and put it on camo, which is really cool. So let's just get this out here. The problem we're gonna have, you can see a lot of green in here, okay? There ain't no leaves on the trees anymore. By the time I received these, the leaves were already gone. So we'll have to do an actual uh, video on these next year when I'm bow hunting with them. And uh, we'll see, one, what I think of them after a couple hunts, and two, how they look. So just to break down, you got a lightweight pant, which we'll put that aside. And then the base layer hoodie, which is right there. And as you can see, the pattern on there which we'll go over all that in a second. I'll have Hawk jump behind the camera. I can put this on and then we'll break down the features and how it looks to what I sent in as a picture. So let me get this on and I'll join you back again. All right guys, so as you can see here, I got the top on and the bottom. Now, if you look closely in this pattern, this is a tree stand we hunt a bunch. So you can see in mul multiple spots of this, this is probably the best look of it. It actually looks pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. So you can see there's our double man stand that we always doe patrol hardcore early season. And this picture, I took a picture standing from the buck stick where the does usually come from. So this is exactly what they would see looking up at us. Cause what he said was for ducks, you wanna take a picture looking almost down if you can. And for whitetail, you want to have it looking up. So we actually have a little sunlight in there and uh, the leaves and all that. And this is exactly how that picture looked. It's kind of crazy how good the top looks. To me, the bottom almost looks like it's too yellow. Like the colors weren't accurate because the top looks good. It's shaded. It's, it's that right dark, well, darkness to brightness, I guess. It's just perfect. It looks really good, actually, but the bottom just looks kind of yellowish. But just a, a first impression of it, it's definitely an early season kind of thing. I mean, and it's tight. Like, this is an extra large, and it's tight. Like, I'm happy. I told him I needed a large and a large, and uh, it wouldn't have been good. So I'm happy I got an XL XL. So just know that. But... The fabric is, is actually pretty nice. The seams look good. I don't really have any complaints. I can't say if it's durable or not because this is like the first time wearing it. So I'm not gonna say anything till I can hunt with it next year, but I wanted to get it on the channel. Then you can see here too, you do have one zipper right here. Uh, it'd be too small to put your phone, but if you're gonna roll with your rangefinder in here, maybe off your harness and in, could work with that goes to about here. I wish there was pockets here, but there isn't. Then as far as the pants, you, have, you just have your original pockets here. You do have two pockets here. And they, they got some real estate to them. They're, they're pretty roomy. And I do like the rubber grip on these zippers. So you can grab it in the dark, zip it easy. You got two, well, one on both sides. And then of course you got your butt pockets that are buttons, which that's a pain in the butt, quite literally. I gotta say, first impression, it's it's pretty cool. I think the pants are a little bit yellow, but the top is just freaking awesome. 
And it's just kind of cool having our, our tree stands actually in our camo pattern. Kind of gives it a cool little touch. So I will be bow hunting with this on next year. Uh, clearly, as you can see in hawk pans, we can't do it now because I'd stick out like a sore thumb. Also, I forgot to say, you can become a ninja in this too. This one, I, don't. I don't think that's right. <laughs> that's that's the mask. You could wear it as a do rag. Yeah. Where's the freaking hood? <laughs> Looks like you're wrapped up. Also, you do have a hood, and then that hood, if you hunt like this, I don't because I feel weird. I feel like a freaking squirrel. Okay, so also you can see here, it does have a face mask with the hood built in. Now, it took some figuring out. I don't think I'd ever hunt like this. I hate it. I hate it right now. I wouldn't even use this to turkey hunt just because it puts pressure on my lips. I don't like that. But you can take and put that behind you and then you could just have the hood, which <laughs> how don't, don't even say anything. I know I look funny. I just don't. It, I mean, look at me. It, it feels stupid looking like this. But it is there, so I know everyone hunts differently. <laughs> I'm more of a ball cap kind of guy. We'll just keep it right here. And uh, eye black. I like that. But I got to say, it's lightweight. It's it's bright. It's got some, it's pretty simple design. Um, the price point, I think it's a little bit on the pricier side. It's more expensive, but it's also custom. But that also has two could be a gift and a curse at the same time. So my instance, I took this picture, we finally got it in my hands, the leaves are gone. Don't even get to wear it. So it's got situational uh, benefits, but I could see if you hunt for waterfowl or something like that, I think it'd be a lot better of an option. Maybe their waterproof jacket or something like that. Cause you could get just a picture of, you know, a marsh and you could blend in decently most places so that would be a good option so it just depends if you want to have a custom picture i do want to kill a deer with this thing on i'm hoping next year early season i can kill a doe or even a buck uh with this on in this stand and i hope it's right where that i took the picture from 17 yards for the record right by the buck stick but we will see i just wanted to film a video uh once again regions custom camo they sent me this to test and review on the channel i can't wait till next year to actually test this out and then i'll do an in-depth review after early season next year i may work with them on something for waterfowl and uh, get to test that and see how that holds up but pretty impressed the only thing i can say is the pants are a little yellow but i don't think it's going to matter it, it the stitching looks good the work looks good pretty unique camo though Drop your comments below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what brands of camo you guys run with. And as always, smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you have Regions Custom Camo, send us pictures on our social medias. All that's in the description. So send them. I want to see what you guys got. And uh, I'm pretty eager to kill a deer with us. It'd be pretty sweet if it was right where I took that picture too. That would be something else. But guys, this is Jake Slees from Blue Collar Outdoors. This is the first impression of the region's custom camo base layer and lightweight pant. And I got to say, it's pretty comfy. It is pretty tight. Definitely buy bigger sizes. But we'll see how it holds up a field because that's all that matters. We'll catch you on the next one.